Australia four for two three five overnight. They've moved along to two sixty two. Steve War within a boundary of his first test century at this ground. Oh, beautifully bowled. That was late and right in the block hole. So once again, Steve War has gone in the 90s, but uh, that was a pretty decent uh, ball. Well, he's very angry with himself, Steve War, but uh, when he analyzes this uh, in the cool of the moment later in the day, he'll find that he's been undone by a very good piece of bowling. The secret to swinging the ball is to get it nice and full, get it to move late, and that did. And uh, that bent right back from outside off stump to the line of middle and off, and back went the stumps. Back goes Steve Waugh. The crowd give him a good applause. Magnificent innings, gone for 96, 5 for 262. Ricky Ponting comes in uh, one spot lower than normal because of the night watchman, Ian Healy, being used. That's a very good average of 41. He's facing a bowler who's uh, he's learned very quickly here at the Wacker ground. Just took Shane O'Connor a while to get the ball moving, but now he's got it uh, down pat. What a beauty he got rid of Steve War with. Yeah, War looking to hit it uh, down through the mid-off area, but it moved a lot and it moved very late. That was also the key. War was expecting it just to keep angling across him and it bent back very late. In effect, it was a, a low full toss, but they're very tough to put away. Just above the Yorker length. Oh, what a good shot. Never hooked to get off the mark, they say. Rubbish, says Ricky Ponting. 